Hi everyone, today's headlines. Nagaland gets its first four-lane arch bridge. Offline UG exams to go ahead as schedule. Covishield effective even during Delta-led second wave of COVID-19. Admiral R. Hari Kumar takes over as a new Navy chief, says National Maritime Challenges main focus. COVID-19 results of three of seven South Africa returnees in Taney pending. News in details. Nagaland gets its first four-lane arch bridge. Nagaland got its first four-lane arch bridge leading to the capital complex which was dedicated by Chief Minister Nefiria on November 29 a year ago. The two-lane portion of the bridge was completed and opened for traffic on November 30, 2020. The Ministry of Road, Transport and Highway sanctioned the project during December 2015 at a total cost of Rs 35.82 crore with a Rs 20 crore under the CRF sanctioned on December 29, 2015 and Rs 15.81 crore under state resources for additional works sanctioned during 2021. The work was allotted to two contractors on a joint venture during July 2016 wherein the actual bridge layout was given only during November 2018. Offline UG exams to go ahead as scheduled. The Nagaland University yesterday informed that a decision has been taken to hold the upcoming undergraduate examination in offline mode as per schedule. A press release from Dr. Abemo, registered Nagaland University, informed that this was decided during the emergency meeting of the NU Authority, Department of Higher Education, and Principals of Undergraduate Colleges affiliated to NU on November 29. The meeting unanimously affirmed to conduct the UG examination 2021 offline as per the schedule noticed by the university on October 21. The NU meanwhile appreciated the collective wisdom shown by the principals of the colleges for smooth conduct of examination in offline mode. It added that this decision was taken in the larger interest of the students as well as the society. Covishield effective even during Delta-led second wave of COVID-19. A recent study indicates that the Covishield vaccine remained effective against moderate to severe COVID-19 even as India faced a deadly second wave spurred by the Delta variant. The Serum Institute manufactured jab is one of the three vaccines that have been used to administer more than 1.2 billion jabs to India's adult population. Admiral R. Hari Kumar takes over a new Navy chief, says National Maritime Challenges main focus. Admiral R. Hari Kumar took over as the new chief of the naval staff on Tuesday. He replaced Admiral K.B. Singh, who retired from service today after a 30-month tenure. The new Navy chief received the Guard of Honor at the South Block Lawns. It is a matter of great honor for me to take charge as the chief of naval staff. Indian Navy's focus is on our national maritime interests and challenges, Admiral Kumar said. COVID-19 results of three of seven South Africa returnees in Taney pending. Officials Seven people arrived from South Africa in Maharashtra Taney city are joining Mumbai since November 14 and all of them were tested in the wake of concern over the new potentially more transmissible Omicron variant of the coronavirus civic officials said on Tuesday. Four of them tested negative for the coronavirus while results of the remaining three were awaited. Deputy Municipal Commissioner in charge of the Thaini Civic Bodies Health Department told the PTI. That's all for now. To get the latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.